Okay, I've been asked a question. Why is the fuse the weak link? Like what makes it the weakest link? Now here is a simple cartridge fuse. This is a low voltage fuse. It is a 20 amp fuse. Now I'm going to a little close there. You see that small piece in the center? That piece because it's reduced in size from the rest of it is going to be the weak link. Now what they do when they make these things is they choose materials with a fairly low melting point. So that is probably something like a uh, uh, lead or tin or a mixture of those things. And so when there's an overload on it, that part right there in the center is going to melt. When it melts, it breaks in two. And of course, that means it's a one use fuse. But that's what makes a fuse a fuse. We don't know exactly what they're using inside these things to, uh, uh, to create them. Okay, this fuse here this is an automotive fuse. And it's maybe a little easier to see than the cartridge fuse inside. But there's the element right there. That's the weak link. These are all color coded. This one's 5 amp. I'm going to put an overload on this thing and we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got that 5 amp fuse hooked up. It's going to be a dead short. And so let's see what happens when it blows. Okay, before this thing gets blown, I want you to take a quick look at this thing. The two tangs on either side are much, much bigger than the fuse element, that Z-shaped thing in the center. When the power passes through here, if it's more than the fuse can allow, then that Z-shaped piece of metal is going to overheat because of all the amperage traveling through it. And of course, it's a low temperature, uh, melting temperature uh, wire. And so before any other part of the circuit gets hot because of the excessive amperage, that little bitty piece there is going to fail and it, as it's designed to do. Okay, it's going to blow here right quick. Uh, it's very fast, so you can't hardly see it. But what that whole thing does is turn red simply because there's so much amperage going through it. There you go. Uh, the parts are broken in two. Uh, it's a weak link, as we've talked about before. It's one that's designed to fail, so you don't have any other parts of the system that may have fairly small wire in it that would fail and possibly cause a fire. So, I don't know, that's just a little further ex explanation on how these fuses work. Um, the wires are all different sizes for all different amperages. And that's it on weak links for fuses.